So I'm gonna try and help you guys activate your Microsoft Windows 11 Pro. If you're seeing this error message, that one in red on the left that says code, and then it has that error code. If you're getting that, it's probably because of what that is saying. You can't activate it because you don't have a valid digital license or product key. Either you have a paid for copy and this is gonna work, or you're gonna be forced to probably purchase a copy, at least the valid digital license for uh, your installation of Windows 11 Pro. First thing I'm gonna do here is click on troubleshoot. I'm gonna try to help you guys find your key, you know, just kind of help you along here because this is questions that I've had in the past. So if you click that and it doesn't automatically activate, you're going to get this window. This one down here says, I changed hardware on this device recently, or go to store. If you click go to store, it's going to want you to purchase a genuine copy of Windows. I'm going to go ahead and click I changed hardware on this device recently to show you what comes up here on the screen. It says here, we can't find any devices linked to your Microsoft account. One thing you guys want to make sure of is that you are logged into your Microsoft account under the email and account you originally signed up for when you activated Windows. So in the past, if you bought your PC and right now you're reinstalling everything, but you originally went through the setup and signed up for a Microsoft account with an email and password, you need to use the same exact one. Otherwise, it's going to show this and devices linked to your Microsoft account. They're not going to show up in here. I click this one down here that says C devices linked to my account. It says here reactivate. We can't reactivate Windows from any devices. If you're not seeing your current device, make sure you're signed in with the same Microsoft account, as I just said, and it will automatically work off a Windows digital license, like if you had Windows 10 prior. It should work off of that license in relation to in reinstalling Windows 11. So in this big open, in the, like the open area here, where I'm moving the cursor, there should be like a computer. You guys, at this point, if you're seeing that, you're probably good to hit next because it's gonna link to that and it'll probably activate. But if you're not, I'm gonna go ahead and go to store. And here's another way you can see if you're logged into your account. Up here at the top, at the top right, says JW. If I click that, you can see that it has my name and my email address. You just wanna make sure that you're signed into the correct Microsoft account. Uh, and that's one way to check. Other information on here that's kind of important. If you need to buy this, Windows 11 Pro, Whatever, you know, what version you might be, maybe you're on Windows 11 Home Edition. It's pretty expensive. The home might be cheaper, but if you read the fine print there, it says get Windows 10 11, 10 slash 11 Pro with a genuine license for this PC. They work off each other uh, if you have done the upgrade. Let me close out of this real quick and close out of this because another thing I want to share with you guys is, and again, at this point, some of you may have gotten activated just because I showed you how to go in and click change hardware. If you click the one here that says change, you get this screen. So this is a product key. It says here, this usually comes comes distributed to you uh, in an email from whoever sold you your computer or it's on the box or like the Windows DVD sleeve or something like that. It's a 25 character code, okay? And it's gonna be on the packaging. It, it could be on a card inside the box that came with your computer. It could be a sticker on a DVD sleeve. It might be printed on like the old way of doing it. I don't know, it was a sticker about the size of a stick of gum, about yay big, and it was on the side of the computer as a certificate of authenticity. I upgraded to Windows 11 Pro from Windows 10. So if you have a valid Windows 10 product key, you can always punch that in here and try that as well. There's a chance it could work off of that the way they combined them. So it just depends. I'm not sure how the system's recognizing that. I'm hoping that this kind of helps you guys out because you really want to be activated in order to use features, get all the updates and stay secure. If you install other programs on your computer, like all these apps here, I have the whole Creative Cloud desktop suite. Some of these things may not work right. If, if you don't go through and pay for this product key. I'm actually going to go ahead and activate mine now. I'm going to click troubleshoot. going to try to go this route here. We've activated this copy of Windows. So if it's working correctly, that's how you can uh, activate your copy of Windows. And mine's activated with a digital license linked to the account. That's all you really need to do as far as activation. Once this is a green check mark up here and it's showing active, then over in the lower left, you can go to Windows Update. And I recommend you click on this big blue button that says check for updates. You should go in and do that every once in a while manually because some of them don't catch. But then, you know, now that you're active, uh, you will get all your updates, security updates, all features will work, all that good stuff. There you go. If there are any questions or comments, of course, leave them below. If you liked the video, helped you out, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.